It is a beautiful March day in Iowa, and I'm with Jake from McGreal Family Farm, and we are going to make some maple syrup. We have over 160 trees tapped, and it's going to make 50 gallons of maple syrup. So let's take a walk through the woods, tap some trees, and enjoy some maple syrup. So first of all, we're going to start right here at the tree where, where everything begins, and I'm going to show you how we tap. Go in about two inches is the correct depth. And you can already see the sap start to seep out around the bit. And there comes the sap running out of the hole pretty quickly. And these are our spiles that we use. And we just go ahead and put it up there and just tap it. You'll see the sap start running out here. So that could run a couple gallons, even maybe close to a full five gallon pail in one day. All right, so we've hiked up the hill a little bit here and we're sitting at the first branch that goes into this trunk line. So this is our main trunk. It's a three quarter inch diameter tubing that's supposed to be able to hold about 500 trees worth of sap. This is a quarter inch tube, so that's a lot smaller, but that goes up this direction up the hill and I believe there's somewhere between 15 and 20 trees hooked into this line. You can kind of see the air bubbles flowing through there. So it's flowing now. And as you can also see, this hill is very steep. So gravity really helps us with uh, moving the sap. It, it all runs right down into this main tube. And then that main tube goes all the way down into the storage tank. Right now we've got just under 100 gallons in the tank. Plum full, it'll hold about 275 gallons. And it can run that much in a day if it's a really good warm day. Now, as far as the, the seasonality and the temperature of the maple syrup, really it starts to run, the sap will start to run in the trees when it gets above freezing during the day preferably even up toward 40 degrees. And the, the season will continue as long as it's still freezing at night and it's warmer during the day. So that process of freezing and thawing is what makes the sap really pump through the trees. All right, so we're back here at our evaporator setup. What we do is we bring the sap back in the truck we unload it into buckets, and then this here is a filter. It's actually a filter for milk that we use as our pre-filter. That gets any little pieces of bark or little sediment or, or whatever that you might get out in the woods. Just take our pails, dump them right in the top here. This thing can hold about five gallons. And that runs right down into our tank. So you can see the, the hose coming up here out of the sap. It runs along top of the top of the tank here and down across to our evaporator tank. It's gravity flowing and we've got a valve on the end that's just letting a trickle out all the time and that keeps the level of sap about constant. Now this tank is a little bit different shape than that tank over there. This one has a flat bottom, which you need for the cooking of the sap because with the curved bottom, you wouldn't have the same depth all the way around the bottom. And so it would scorch on the edges. You can get a look down here in the tank as well. You can see already it's started to change color compared to the, the sap that's in the storage tank. This just started cooking this morning, but already it's starting to get a little bit of a, an amber color starting in there. You can see the steam's really rolling off of there. But this will be cooking for a few days. We've got here, this is a quart container of finished maple syrup. This is from the first batch that we just put into bottles last week. The sap that comes out of the tree is very dilute. It's barely sweet at all. And as it cooks down, the water boils off and the sugar remains in the syrup. So what happens is we start with about this much, this would be about 10 gallons worth of the sap that's just very subtly sweet. And that, when it's cooked down, will make approximately one quart 
of syrup. And you can see here, this is the color of the finished product. It's a lot darker than the sap that you saw in the storage tank or in the cooker tank. As it gets more syrupy and sweeter, uh, it gets darker as well. Thank you so much for joining us today. We had a blast walking through the woods and making maple syrup. But now it's time to enjoy it. Whether it be on your pancakes or in your yogurt, it's the perfect time to eat local. Thanks everybody for coming out. It's been a pleasure to show you our operation here and I hope you've learned something and enjoyed this time.